I just want to <clears throat> show you all this new pack I've been carrying for a couple of months now. It's uh, I was wanting just a, a small pack, to, you know, to come out for half a day or you know even a full day in this. And to be honest, we as hot as it is, it's, uh, it's the end of May or we're entering the last week in May in Georgia, and it's already it's 90 today. We're like 70 percent humidity. It's just miserable out here. But anyway, so yeah, I was wanting something. I could probably do an overnight in this. Um, well, I know I could. I could probably do two days out of it. But uh, it's 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 small. It's a 20 liter pack, but it is amazing what this thing will hold. Um, I probably got 12 to 14 pounds in here right now. And well, I'll just uh, I'll show you the contents. But you've got. Um, tool attachment here and here so I've been carrying my little Lars fault axe up through here and just took it in here I've got a side pocket a side pocket pocket up here uh, you have a pocket on the front right here and then the main compartment with you know a little compartment inside but I'll, sh I'll show it to you but yeah so let's get into it and uh, see what all this thing has in it there's plenty of room in here. I could fit my hammock system and my little uh, my little snug pack stasha tarp in here. Uh, like I said, if I want to do overnights in here, throw some freeze dried meals in here, and I'm good to go for a couple of days. So let's do the let's do the outside pockets first. So up here, uh, well, that'll give you an idea of how hot it is. That's just mush chocolate and peanut butter bar. I was going to eat that instead of my mountain house meal because it's hot, but still may. We'll see. So I've just got that and my little hobo fishing kit that I made out of bamboo God, probably 10 years ago now. Uh, and that's it up there. Let's see. This side pocket, I've got my MSR squeeze uh, water filter I like carrying it out on days when I'm on the move um, and a long spoon I always bring a long spoon when I do de dehydrated meals and I could get a lot more in any of these pockets uh, and here I've got bug dope And my little open nail folding saw. Just a small one. I forget the number designation for it. Might be a 16, I don't know. Uh, and that's all in that pocket. Oh, to go along with the saw on my side, I'm just carrying my little um, my little uh, Mora 2000. I don't know if I said it in other videos, but it's not the strongest knife in the world. I've got the Garberg. I've got the... Uh, Fault Niven F1, but I always grab that knife. I, just, I love this blade. And that's it. So, oh, right here. Here I've got my first aid kit. And that's it. And you can see there's plenty of room. I could have laid this horizontal and got another little pack up in here or a little bag up in here it's got a nice baffle on it too but I'm telling you there's so much I mean if I shoved all this down in here I could get two days of food I mean this there's there's just I don't know there's just so much room in here there's no way to express it to you uh, let's see in here, cotton bandana. This was in my car on my drive-in, and I just threw it in here just in case I decided to wander away from the water. I need an extra water container. I just fill that up. As always in summertime, I always bring an extra shirt. I like wearing cotton in the summertime because it breathes. These things are see-through. See it's just poplar, like a real thin poplar material. 
Uh, so I've got that. I've got my little uh, Esbit, uh, Esbit boating butterfly stove just to heat water in for my freeze dried meal. Um, got the freeze dried meal. Got my Mac Tightwad bushcraft seat. Toilet kit, just wet wipes, toilet paper, and hand sanitizer. Brew kit. Um, just brought my little Mora hatchet out with me. I had another one, and I let my son borrow it, and he, uh, I think he was splitting rocks with it or something, so he now is the proud owner of that one. I bought me a new one. And my possibles. I always carry that wherever I go. No matter where I go, even just trail walking. And a full canteen set. And it's just the uh, Nalgene bottle with the uh, with that new uh, Boundless Voyage canteen cup set. So yeah, in here you've got something to hold your car keys, and then you've got this little pocket here. And it's just got wallet, spare battery for my phone, my hunting permit, and just a little silver compass. Yeah, man, it weighs nothing. It's just a good no-frills pack. Uh, it's got really good cushion on the shoulders. It's got a sternum strap. There's no belt on it, which I'm glad because sometimes I like to wear a full belt kit, meaning I like to have my saw, my knife, and a dump pouch on, and these belts just get in the way. Um, but yeah, that's it, man. Like I said, I've been carrying it for a few months now. And I really, really like it. it um, if I can find a picture, I did a, I did a wild edibles course last weekend. And I took this pack with me and was able to carry everything I need in it. If I can find a picture, I'll put it right here of how small it is on your back. All right, so I had a guy ask me to show my possibles pouch. And I've been promising him I'd do it forever. I keep forgetting. So while I'm out here, I'm going to get all this put away and uh, cook this real quick have a brew and then we'll go through the possible pouch all right so the possible's pouch um, it's a it's a canvas pouch and it'll take a wide belt and I just put a little string on there so when I get in camp I can hang it up on a, a line either under my tarp on a ridge line or just up on a tree are just gear lines that I hang up. Uh, I've got a lot of nylon pouches like like this that the water bottle comes in or that I keep my water filters in. But I wanted something a little tougher. These are never on my side. These are always in the pack. Um, a lot of times, you know, I'm bushwhacking, so I need something a little tougher. Uh, sometimes I put all the contents in a waterproof bag in here. Uh, it's usually just a gallon size Ziploc and just smush it all down in here. But I wanted my, you know, possibles change. Uh, they'll stay the same for the most part. You'll find yourself carrying a lot of the same stuff. But there's some things you'll change in and out depending on the seasons and where you're going uh, and what you're going to be doing. Uh, Nesmuk, he, uh, he called his a ditty bag like the sailors did back in those days. And he kept a lot of fishing gear in his. And if you go back and read his book, you'll see where he kept uh, darning needles and thread and stuff like that. And uh, But he also kept a lot of fishing gear in his also. Um, like I said, so I'll, I'll change things in and out. What's in here now, besides I think one or two items, normally stay. And then I just change it out for the seasons. So let's get into it. Um, headlamp. Uh, always carry a headlamp in there. This is a new one I got from Cabela's. 
and uh, been trying it out. It's been pretty, pretty pleased with it so far. Um, and of course, batteries. And the way this is, you know, no matter where I go or what I do, this comes with me. And I want it to be able to sustain me if I was to get lost, you know, with the items in it. But I also want it to act as support for, you know, me in camp and other items in my pack. So, you know, it won't, it needs to do repairs and sustain me if I get lost out in the woods somewhere. Um, jute twine, you know, mostly use that just because like everybody else, it, it just, it rots after about a season. It's good and strong, and you can actually build a shelter out of it. But after about a season, it's going to rot. Um, tarred line. Small tarred line. And bigger tarred line. Um, let's see. Keep a little duct tape in there. You know, that's good for just doing quick repairs and stuff. Um, little open nail pocket knife. And then a little open nail sharpener. I used to carry the uh, ceramic uh, fault nib and sharpening stone in there. But uh, I don't know, it's just, it's, I just, there's something about this one, man. It's just really really fine i mean the the ceramic one you know don't you know everybody knows ceramic's fine but this one's got just enough grit to it but it's still fine i can really get a good edge on any blade i'm carrying so you see all this supports me whether i'm in camp building shelters practicing building shelters for the day or if i get lost you know Bug dope. I don't carry this year round. This is one of those items that comes and goes. Uh, as soon as bug season's over, I throw this back in, back in a drawer, and it stays there until the next season. Uh, a few methods of starting a fire: uh, waterproof match case. I like the metal match cases better than the plastic ones. I do have a plastic one in my, uh, in this kit. I've got matches scattered everywhere got matches there matches in here there's matches in my first aid kit matches in my brew kit um, of course good old big lighter you know you can't they never let you down I have two hanks of uh, sewing cord sewing string and I don't know if you can see but tucked in right in here is a needle I've got another right there tucked in so I can just pull it out and there's not one in there I've got two one on each side of this and then I've got a little gardener's twine it's a uh, it's like wire gardener's wire a small fishing kit uh, I've actually got a video using this where I catch a little chub out of the creek and eat it. But uh, it's really all you need around here. It's just a piece of wood with string and an, uh, a hook already attached, ready to go. And this is something that I hardly see anybody carrying. But I promise you, you will use this just about more than anything if you're around water or whatever in camp. I keep a bar of soap in here. And it's just pine tar soap. And I put it um, put it in a mesh bag and then wrap string around it. And then when we get to camp, I'll tie this up down at the creek because it's biodegradable. And uh, then hang a bandana up like a cotton bandana like this. So you always got a means to wash your face and hands and everything. And it just feels good to clean up at the end of the day before you climb in the bed. Also, it's good for cleaning wounds and stuff, you know. Pine tar soap, if you brush up against anything that irritates your skin, pine tar soap is amazing. Um, it just, it really soothes the, uh, the skin and uh, kind of takes away the irritation.
and last but not least a 50 gallon drum liner or garbage bag uh, this isn't the the big thick ones this is I, I went with the small uh, stretchy one because I don't know I'm not really don't think I'm gonna find myself in a situation where I've got to rely on it to make a shelter or anything like that and even if I did I could do it with this uh, this more or less just acts like like an emergency poncho I used to carry emergency ponchos with me and still do I mean they're, they're scattered throughout my packs and stuff but I know this is in here and if I get caught out I can cut a little hole in the corner to stick my face through and crawl in this and it'll go around me and my pack and like I said it's the flex material uh, winter time this will go I might throw um, you know a little candle in here so I could get in it you know heat my body up but that's it that's that's pretty much what I carry year round and um, I, I've used all these items so many times it just it got to where I just knew what to what to put in there just uh, you know trial and error sometimes I'll put uh, I'll put four 16 penny nails in here and um, you know I'll keep it depending on where we're going you know if we're going out to build a shelter or whatever and uh, they've come in handy you know you got four 16 penny nails and an axe it's amazing what you can build but anyway that's it I'll do a close-up of it and um, put it up so take care guys and sorry it took so long to get the video up about it I just never think about it when I'm out here all right, take care, guys, and we will see you in the next video.